Hey you all, welcome back to Prosperous. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. Uh, today we're gonna be doing uh, our July cash stuffing for the first paycheck. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also go ahead and like the video. All right, I do actually have some money left over from the last uh, paycheck in June. So I'm just gonna leave it in there and I'm gonna roll it over. I'm not gonna uh, necessarily take it out or anything. So I'm just gonna add it to the money that I'm gonna add to it and then just roll everything over. So to get started, let's go ahead and count how much I have. I have 100, 200, 300, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 400, 500, 600, So that's $780 that I have to stuff my cash envelopes and sinking funds with. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get them laid out in the denominations that they are in so that it'll make it easier to stuff the envelopes. our money so I'm gonna go ahead and see so first uh, envelope we're gonna stuff is going to be the groceries now for groceries let me see how much I had over from um, the last paycheck so I had 20 30 31 32 33 34 35 and then I have two dollars worth of quarters so that's um, $37 that I had that's gonna roll over into uh, this first paycheck so I'll go ahead and sit that there. And then for this pay period, I'm going to take $180. So I'm going to get one of the $100 bills. And then I think I want to do 20s because it's kind of easier to spend at grocery stores. So two, four, six, eight. So I have 180 right here that I'm going to add to this $37 right here. So that'll be the new total. So I have 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 200, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, because I have $2 worth of quarters. So that's $217 that I have for groceries for this first pay period, which is actually gonna come in handy because my daughter's birthday is this month on um, July 22nd. So I'm gonna wanna get a cake or either get the um, the products to make a homemade cake or something like that. So I'm gonna wanna have a little bit extra this month. So the next one is dining out. We're not really dining out. We might go out to eat for her birthday, but I'm not gonna put it in there right now because that's a different fund. So I'll put that to the side entertainment we might do some things for her birthday but again that's going to be in a birthday fund and not this and then i have my beauty fund that i'm going to go ahead and get um filled so no, i'm going to do 85 dollars. that's what i normally do per pay period so i'm going to get a 50 and then a 20 a 30 and a 5 so i have 50, 60, 70, 80, 85 dollars that I'm going to put. Now, um, I've talked about this before. Normally I put this into my sinking funds for my beauty and then I carry this in my wallet if I'm gonna go get nails or anything done like that. I have started going back to the, um, the nail salon, so I will be using this $35. Um, I like to go get my pedicures and um, a manicure or a polish change on my nails, so I will be using that. So for right now, I'm gonna just put all of it into the cash envelope that I carry in my wallet. And then after this video, I'm gonna take this 50 out and put it into the sinking fund that I have. So we have the beauty fund set up. Then the household fund. Now this is what I use when I'm going to Target, Walmart, things like that. 
to get the products that you need to keep your household running smoothly. I have $10 left over for that. So we're going to leave that in there and roll it over. And then I normally do $65. So it's going to be 20, 40, um, 50, 60, and then five. So I have two, four, six, no, I'm sorry, two, four, 50, 65. And then my other 10, I forgot to add it in there. So that's 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, $75 that I have to spend this first paycheck on household supplies. So that's all filled. Next, I have miscellaneous. I still have money left over. In miscellaneous, I have $10. And basically, those are uh, what I'm going to use for car washes to get one car wash a week. So I'm just going to roll that over because I didn't really go get my car washed. Um, but I will be getting it washed probably this weekend. So I have two weeks worth of uh, car wash because it's $5 where I go. So I have um, one for this week and one for next week to keep the car looking nice and clean. And then I have extra money. Now this money is savings. And also I have a fund that I'm gonna be using. So this $50 is going to go in my car repairs fund, a sinking fund, so I'm gonna put that to the side. And then I have 100. And then I have two, four, six, eight, ten. This is 200, two, four, six, eight, ten. This is 300. And something is a bit off because I'm supposed to have 400 in there and I'm not sure where it's at. Huh, that's kind of, so it's actually supposed to be 400 in there. Okay, you guys, I found the missing 100. My daughter decided to do a prank and put hid it in my iPad box. So now we're going to start over. I have remaining two, 100, 200, two, four, six, eight, 10, two, 300, 300. $450. I have $450 remaining. So let me do that again. So out of the remaining money, I have 100, 200, 300, $450. So with this $450, this is going to go into sinking funds that I have that I'm going to be using this month. So the $50 is going to go into my car repair sinking fund, and which is actually back at zero because I just had to get all new brakes and rotors on my car and I got new windshield wipers and I got an oil change. So I wiped out all of my car savings. So I'm going to be starting over this month to rebuild it up again. So that 50 is going to go inside there. And then I have the 100, 200, 300, 400 left. This 400 left is going to go into my daughter's birthday fund so that I can, um, we can do things for our birthday, gifts, things like that, food, all that good jazz or whatever is going to go into this um, birthday fund. So that's really ironic that she wanted to play a prank on the missing 100 because it would have just been her loss or whatever because that would have been $100 gone. So that's all for this sinking fund here's my envelopes all filled and ready to go so everything's ready to go all i gotta do is put them back in my wallet which i will be doing a video on very soon to update you on how i'm liking the uh, filofax safiano organizer zip wallet and I hope everyone is doing well out there. I know a lot of places around the U.S. are starting to open back up. And then there's a spike in uh, 
COVID-19 cases and everything. So if you are out and about and things are opening back up, please be safe, take care of yourselves. And until next time, stay prosperous, stay striving towards your goals. And I hope everybody is being safe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified of any new videos. I am back. I'm going to be more consistent. June was a little bit of a crazy month for me because it was my birthday month and everything was hectic and I got off track. But I am back and I am dedicated. I'm going to try to post a video, at least one video a week. Um look forward to an upcoming recipe plan with me video and also happy plan with me video so until next time i hope everybody stays safe